On the remote island of Umnak in Alaska, which has a population of under 50, there are a wide range of scenic geologic features. This includes large roaring waterfalls, fumaroles, multiple glaciers, a massive 6.6 .6 mile wide and up to 1600 foot deep caldera, young lava flows, recent volcanic cones, sections where there is an ash fractal dominated landscape, in addition to a highly symmetrical volcano. This highly symmetrical volcano is known as Vesedvidov and is the westernmost of the three active volcanoes on Umnak Island, with the other two being Okwak and Mount Rseschoy. While Rseschoy does not have any known historical eruptions, it has erupted during the Holocene Epoch, Alkmaq last erupted in 2008, and Vesedvidov last erupted in 1957 and 1878. Although Alaska has a wide range of volcanoes, the most common volcano type there is a stratovolcano which contains overlapping layers of lava and ash which build a cone-shaped volcano. While this can lead to a nearly symmetrical volcano, oftentimes factors such as large flank vents, volcanic explosions, glacial erosion, debris avalanches, and other factors often lead to a volcano having an irregular profile such as seen at the Iliamna volcano. Yet, there are a select group of volcanoes which do in part to their young age have almost perfect symmetrical edifices, at least via their modern volcanic cone. Such volcanoes are Kanaga, Cleveland, Shishaldin, and Vesedvidov. Of this group, Vesedvidov is presumably the oldest as it has some glacial carving on its edifice along with a 4450 foot wide summit crater that possibly formed in what was a prehistoric high end VEI-4 volcanic eruption, perhaps three times the size as Okmok's 2008 eruption. Along with the other adjacent volcanoes, Vesedvidov exists due to the offshore collision of two large tectonic plates. There, the Pacific plate is subducting underneath the North American plate. The melted material from this collision then migrated upwards until it erupted onto the surface, forming a chain of volcanoes which in this case formed an island slightly smaller than the island of Maui. The Vesedvidov volcano likely began forming around 20,000 years ago when a volume of basaltic andesite lava intruded into the crust before erupting onto the surface through multiple points along a several mile long west to east chain of activity. This quickly formed a grouping of cinder cones, and after continued eruptive activity one vent became dominant. Thereafter, intermittent Strombolian to Volcanian explosions occurred along with the ejection of fountains of lava. These eruptions produced a substantial amount of ash over time, which in combination with blocky lava flows formed the beginnings of a stratocone. This process continued for more than 10,000 years, with lava flows frequently overflowing the several hundred foot wide summit crater and flowing onto the volcano's flanks. This caused a wide range of coloration with red representing scoria, gray representing ash and erupted andesite and dacite, and black representing basaltic andesite. Eventually, magmas at this volcano became more viscous which allowed for a powerful and explosive eruption to occur, likely generating a 20 kilometer high eruption column, a probable VEI-4 eruption, and placed up to 30 meters thick of ash at its summit, and formed a 4450 foot wide summit crater. Although the age of this eruption is unclear, in my opinion, it may have occurred around 3,000 years ago. Eruptions at Vesedvidov appear to be mostly moderately explosive, with the initial phase of any eruption being the most explosive. Lava flows can theoretically go in any direction around the volcano, but strangely not all sectors have been the site of recent lava flows. The most likely section to be inundated by lava lies directly west of the volcano along a chain of a little more than a half dozen vents elongated along a line of activity which goes all the way to the ocean where there is a broad fan-shaped lava delta. As a result of these hazards, the US Geological Survey classified Vesedvidov as a moderate threat volcano, ranking second among the three volcanoes on Umnak Island. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.